Trading Platform Walkthrough Quote Screen Navigation The Trader's Hideout Quote Screen is definitely like no other. It is an extremely powerful one-stop shop for all your trading activities. Let's have a look at some of the features in the Quote Screen. We do encourage you to have a look at the other videos where each one of the features is discussed in more details and we take a look at how they work and how you can benefit by using them for your trading. At the top of the quote screen the first thing that we can see is the currency indicator where it shows the strongest and weakest currencies at different time frames. You will notice that the time frame will change between 1, 5, 15 minutes, 1 hour and 4 hours. So depending on the kind of trading that you do you will know what the trend is and what is the strongest and weakest performing currency. Right under the currency strength indicators we can find the worst and best performing instruments. Now do remember the calculations for the worst and best are done by the traders hideout servers automatically for you. However, you will only see listed the instruments that you have in your quote screen. So, to manage what instruments are listed or the order they're listed in, simply click on the symbols catalog and you can manage that. As we've said at the beginning of this video, the quote screen of the Traders Hideout platform is completely different from anything else. Let's have a look at a few of the features that can save us time, gather us information more efficiently, make better trades, and make better decisions. One of the greatest features of the quote screen is the trends indicator. For those who are used to doing multi time frame analysis, which means to look at 15 minute charts, one hour, four hours, one day, perhaps even one week charts, you would have had to do an analysis on each one of the charts for each one of those time frames until today. The traders hideout servers go and calculate the trends for each one of those time frames. As you can see here, the dollar yen is lined up where all the major time frames are on an uptrend. Now this saves you a lot of time. You should definitely still open up a chart, but the pre-work is done for you. And for those who do multi-time frame analysis two or three times a day, this just saved you about four, five, six hours of work. Another very powerful feature on the quote screen is the ticks and speed with the volatility indicators. If you're a scalper, you can time your entry and your exits based on the speed ticks and the volatility indicator. Now the volatility means how volatile the changes are and these ticks are the last 10 tick changes. Now changes means for example these two red ticks means that the rate went down twice. Okay, So if it's the same tick it will not show up. So this means that um, there were four up ticks. Okay? This is a super way to find out perhaps anything that's just before a breakout or uh, anything that you're trying to measure this will really help you out in order to time your entries or your exits. Another very important feature of the quote screen is managing the actual symbols or finding symbols. For example if right now the dollar was gaining strength and I want to find out all the pairs that I can trade on the dollar I simply go to the top search box and I type USD or any partial any portion of that and it will automatically bring all the pairs that have to do with the USD so I can find out any trends that I want to take a look at okay and I'm noticing something with the yen or the sec so for example I want to take a look at all the yen so I simply go here I change it to JPY and it will bring up all the JPYs and I can see that the yen is actually losing ground as the yen is the secondary part of the instrument you can see that it is being beaten up on 
uh, the one minute, five minute, 15 minutes, and, and one hour charts, uh, you'll be able to see uh, an uptrend of anything that's against the yen. So the yen is losing ground. Now this is a super way to find out where a currency is going. You can use the trend indicator and you can find out where it's heading or where it was heading is more like it.